is day 64 of my daily video vlogs. It is, I have to look at my clock here, uh, September 22nd, 2015. I, somebody had a comment, why do you look at your clock, tell what time and date it is, because my clock is on my computer. I am in front of a Windows computer, and so it has a clock. Um, so, I'm sorry, I guess I should say, let me look at the date. Also, someone asked, why do I have a bunch of cuts? And it's because I normally take these videos during the evening. <sighs> and if I didn't cut, that's what you'd see. I yawn a lot because I'm tired. And I normally do these videos at 10 or 11 o'clock at night. And right now it's 6.10 and I had a really long day. Um, we won't talk about me. But let's talk about you. Um, but you haven't left any comments, so we can't talk about you. Um, I do want to talk about the one thing that people seem to really uh, enjoy. I've had, I think, um, let's see here. Let me look here. I've had 78 videos, and my top videos have to deal with tech. Um, two of my top videos. It, it, if you take away the first one, which I had um, someone mentioned in, Rodetto mentioned in his video, and people came to my my uh, YouTube channel. So if you take away that one, okay, which is I, I equate to people seeing his video. My biggest videos have been tech related, and the biggest ones of those have been my tech off news, which I'm working on right now. I should have, I say should have out Tuesday if my green screen comes. I want to make it with the, if it doesn't come. I'll have it on Wednesday because I'll shoot it on Tuesday and put it out Wednesday. But it should come tomorrow, which is Monday, and I want to use it instead of using the wall here behind me. I want to make it look like a news studio just because I want to. Uh, me and Landon went in half and half on it, so it's not expensive. I think it's like $35, $36. It's a nylon green screen. And it has green on one side, blue on the other. So it looks like it's going to work. Um, I've seen other people use it. I've done I've done green screen before. The biggest thing is you have to have a lot of lighting. Um, otherwise, your color um, has shadows. The biggest thing with green screen is in the program you use. Like I use Adobe Premiere, and basically what you do in Adobe Premiere is you put a a filter on it called chroma key or a special effect called chroma key and you tell it which color to make uh, transparent and so um, what you do is you have two rows of video feed and um, like for right now if I wanted to put a scene in the background I'll, I'll just do one to let you know what would happen okay so here I am with nothing and here I am you can hear me talking but you can't see anything right right so so once I get it I, I might um, do a, a video tutorial about it because I would think that if you didn't know and you were interested it would be cool to see now basically at that point you would have three video lines one would be your green screen in uh, well well you can have as many as you want but you would have your your video like the one you see now where you see the background here but instead of the background you would see this green in this and then you would have a video or you could have a still shot like just a scene of a city um, or a background of a studio um, or a video running in the background whatever you want and basically you would run two lines of video on the Adobe Premiere or whatever program you, you're using that can use chroma key and you tell it, okay, this color I don't want to see. And so, so basically, um, in the line of video, you can put one on top of the other. And um, because just a minute ago I put that picture in front of me, you couldn't see me. Now, if my background was green or blue or some solid color, not white. Um, well, I mean, it could be white, but, you know, I'm wearing white, so I'd be invisible. Um it cuts out that color and makes that color transparent. So then what other, other video or uh, background or whatever would then be able to come through that but not go farther than that. So 
because my shirt and my skin color and my hair are not the same color as that green or blue background, um, then that wouldn't be invisible, just that color. So it, it's pretty cool. Um, but your biggest thing is the lighting. So I've got to get a few more lights. Because if you have any shadows, like if I go like this, you can probably see shadows. Okay. If you have shadows, then you're going to have two different colors of green, and you'll only be able to filter it out so much. But anyway, so I'm going to make the next uh, teched off news either Monday or Tuesday. So what's the other thing I wanted to talk about? Well, my biggest video, um, the the with the most views, I guess biggest, is all relative. But the one that I have that is the most views is the one where I talked about Oculus Rift and the Microsoft HoloLens and then somebody put a big dissertation about what about Magic Leap? I'd never heard of Magic Leap. Well, I have studied, I have tried to study, I did do a video on Magic Leap. I have been trying to watch all the news feeds that I can about Magic Leap. Um, it looks spectacular. Uh, I still think that Microsoft has an edge because of the, um, the Magic Leap it seems to be more for gaming, although I'm going to show you a video, or I'll link to a video that has, um, it's not just about gaming, but it seems to be its forte is about gaming, like Oculus Rift, you know? And Microsoft seems to be more about productivity, although it does do gaming, so I, I'm kind of betting that Microsoft is going to be productivity, gaming, and be fun, but I'm thinking that, that Magic Leap is going to be gaming and productivity, so who's going to win that battle? I'm betting Microsoft because of their share, their hold of the market. Microsoft has a like a juggernaut on the market, and if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you'll know I'm not a Microsoft fan because of all the flaws. In fact, one of my teched off news was talking about how Internet Explorer, they're, Microsoft is saying that they are getting rid of it because of how much people hate it. Now they're creating a new browser called Spartan. And I'm, my opinion of it is, why not fix what you have? Everybody knows Internet Explorer. I don't know any, anybody who would think, oh, well, Microsoft is a new browser, so, oh, it must be great. I'm not going to use it until I read about it. And, and I would think the majority of the people, well, of course, they'll have a Microsoft computer, and it'll be the default. And they won't know any difference, except for it'll look like a guy's hat, you know. So, to me, I, I think Microsoft is missing the boat there. I think they... You know, they should just fix it and and have a better product and then get a reputation of, well, they had a bad product, but they fixed it. You know, most people don't know that um, there was a company, most people know this, that there was a company named Gold Star. And if you remember, oh, 20 years ago, it would be like a cassette tape player and um, or a TV uh, you know, electronic stuff, and it was junk. It was just junk. If you, you, it would be the cheapest stuff, cheapest stuff you could buy, and that seemed to go away. And then this company sprang up called LG, and I know that you've probably heard of LG, and they started making great stuff. Well, Gold Star is LG. They just changed the name to LG means life is good. Life is good. And, but it used to be Gold Star, and they just changed the name. Now, in that case, I can see where they benefited, but Microsoft's not going to change their name, and everybody's going to know this new browser is Microsoft. I, I, again, I'm not going to use it until I read enough about it. Uh, I guess I'll try it, and then I'll let you know whenever I'm thinking about downloading the beta for, for Microsoft 10. I'm, I'm going to put Here's a picture right here. Uh, a video that I actually saw on Facebook and it was posted by Steve Wozniak. Now, uh, if you know anything about computing, Steve Wozniak was uh, co-founders of Apple with Steve Jobs. So, 
you really can't say Apple without thinking Jobs and Wozniak, even though some people in this time frame, if you're young, won't really know Steve Wozniak. But Steve Wozniak was, the, in my opinion, the brains behind Apple. And Steve Jobs was the sales behind Apple. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. And when I say the brains behind it, Steve Wozniak created the Apple computer. And Steve Jobs saw it and said, let's sell it. So, um, and then, you know, through time, Steve Jobs had a lot of great ideas that he saw other people. He, he was really good at um, taking what other people had and, and making it great. So there's not a lot I can say that Apple created. Um, Apple bought technology. I, I wouldn't say stolen. Um, although there are some people that could talk about Xerox and Xerox gave Apple the rights to use the mouse. And even Steve Jobs in, in interviews will talk about how, how stupid they were because they just gave it away and they were like four years ahead of Apple in developing it. So, but that wasn't stolen. They, they gave it. So, you know, I, I guess if somebody's going to give away the, uh, the, um, the uh, chicken that laid the golden egg, take it. I mean, you're not stealing it. Nothing wrong with that if they don't want it. Um, but so when I saw Steve Wozniak uh, post this video, um, that's really impressive. Uh, because he only posts things that he likes. I've never seen him post anything about Microsoft. I may not have been paying enough attention, but I haven't seen it. So, um, here again, here's the video. And if you go there, it's... Uh, and I'm also going to link in the, in the description is... Uh, this is a video from YouTube. And I'm also going to link in here, in the comments, a story from MIT Technology Review. And it talks about Reality Check comparing HoloLens and Magic Leap. And it's written by Rachel Metz. And that was in March 20th, 2015, a couple days ago. And uh, she gives some good insight on someone that has actually went and actually experienced the two sides of it. So she gives a good um, analysis. I think it's very well written and very thought out. But to get to the video, again... I don't know how to get to anything other than videos, and no one has posted in the comments how to make links to anything other than videos. So, until I figure that out, which I'm sure there's a way, but I haven't figured it out. Um, but that's just me, my problems. So, again, I, I'll put the, the links. If you haven't already clicked on the um, v video and went to it, uh, I think you need to. It's it's very very impressive. You know, I uh, I used to play video games a lot. Like when I when I was first in business, and I was like 28, I would come home and play video games all the time. And just things got busier in other aspects of my life, and I don't. Uh, I won't spend the money to keep up with the technology to play the games. I mean, my computer is a, uh, it's a triple core, it has 8 gigs of RAM, um, it has a decent video card, but if I was to buy one of the super high-end video games, it would be laggy, and I don't want to play it if it's laggy, and it costs so much money for some of these games. At one point in time, it, I would have, but I've got other things I can spend my money on. But um, I love video games. I do. If I had, if I had just unlimited resources and time, man, I w I really would sit down and build the best system. I wouldn't buy it from somebody. I'd build it, and I would do it right. And I would play games. And uh, if I had unlimited time and money, I mean, there's other things I would do too. Don't get me wrong, but that's one of the things I would do. I would make better videos all day long. But, uh, so this Magic Leap and this HoloLens, you know, Google Glasses, I didn't really, I don't know, it didn't impress me, and I didn't really, I was never wanting to see it. This stuff really impresses me. 
especially this video of the Magic Leap. It just seems incredible that 20 years ago we were talking about this stuff and I remember the uh, Nintendo Virtual Boy and how bad it was and now it just seems like another dimension of reality. It makes you think, where's it going to go? Where, where is it going to go? Uh, it's been my Sunday. I wasn't outside, but I thought I would come inside. So, YouTube, have a good tomorrow. Goodbye. Yeah.